Uh, I know you'll want to say a few words about Ross Larkin, his incredible dignity, his incredible courageous yeah. um, you know, behaviour this week. Yeah, again, um, as a club, we've obviously respected the, the privacy of you know, Ross and his family uh, for a reason, because the challenges uh, that he's faced over the last 12 months, and you talk about being courageous and brave, uh, he's certainly been that. Uh, so, you know, first and foremost, our thoughts go out to Ross. Um, it's been a tough, it's been a tough year. Hopefully, now with the um, the good news that he's going to be running the marathon uh, to try and raise funds for uh, the charity that's sort of helped him along the way. So, um, we've respected Ross. We've kept dignified as is Ross. Um, uh, it was a fantastic piece that he did the other day, and again, it showed you, you know. Um, Everybody out there that you know when when it does hit you, you know how much effect that it has on the individual and the family. Um, so for himself at Linfield, obviously first and foremost, we wish him well going forward. As a club, we'll certainly do our utmost to make sure that um, we do what we can as we've uh, as we have done. Um, but um, the the marathon that he wants to do, brilliant because it gives him gives him a challenge. He's been in and around training and say the. The players love to see him coming in um, when he can. Um, he doesn't do no, no, it's, it's non-contact training that, that he's in the round. But again, it gives him encouragement that he's in and around people and players and staff who, who care about him. Uh, which is uh, again, that's that's been important for us over the last uh, the last twelve months. To say so. Tough news. Um, it's been tough for them to take, but. If anybody can be courageous and be brave from the situation, Ross has been and Ross will be. And I've no doubt going forward, Ross certainly uh, will put uh, put this to put this to bed and hopefully uh, hopefully recover recover well. The medical people have done an amazing job in getting him to where he is now, and it's yeah. great that he has the focus to want to help others who've suffered in a similar way. And I know he's raised already five thousand. Times are tough for people, yeah. but if people have any spare money, you know, encourage them to give towards Ross's Just Giving Appeal. Yeah, absolutely. And again, we'll be doing our utmost. And when you, you see somebody, you know, in sort of the distress that Ross has been over the last sort of 12 months to, to want to, to, to want to improve uh, the charity, the, you know, to raise the funds and to raise the money for. Um, that's that's an incredible incredible sort of task that he wants to take on but um he'll be well supported uh, i hope our linfield supporters and others because again it doesn't sort of doesn't discriminate against age gender color um and again ross is such a young boy we we i have a young son myself and i couldn't even put myself in the shoes of the larkin family and the, the stresses that uh, you know the mum and dad and the family have sort of had to be put through so Say so we wish him well, and I said if there's anything he did jokingly say when he said about the marathon that um, that I would maybe do a leg with him at some some stage until I found out that a leg basically means a, a quarter of the the 26 miles, which may maybe a stretch too far. But he did say you have enough time to maybe try and get yourself into a little bit better shape. So if I can do something like that to, to try and help Ross, to try and raise the profile, to try and raise a little bit more money for the charity. Uh, I'll certainly be uh, trying my best over the next sort of four to six weeks to try and maybe help out. Well said, and all the best to us going forward. He really is an inspirational, Absolutely. exceptional young man.